straight from the UK. It is the Pixie Woo Sisters. They are digital sensations from just outside London. So uh, Sam and Nick Chapman, you two are sisters. You grew up as makeup artists. Just take a listen to the numbers, okay? This is how big they are. So together, they have a combined 600,000 Instagram followers, 1.7 million followers on their YouTube channel, which is probably the most followed for, uh, for, for beauty, you know, Pretty folks in the beauty yeah. uh, industry, and 200 million views. So yeah. you are known globally mm -hmm. um, through your brand. I wanna know how it all started. How did you, how did you get into makeup, first of all? Well. Our aunt was a really well-known makeup artist when we were kids and she did like Princess Diana, David Bowie, mm. loads, loads and loads of the big British celebrities. So it looked really glamorous and we thought we'd get into doing that. So we yeah. started makeup straight from school and we were doing backstage stuff behind the scenes. And then when I was pregnant with my second daughter, someone asked me how to do a smoky eye and I just hate emailing. So I just filmed it and uploaded it to YouTube and that's how it all began. Really? Yeah. It's simple as that. It and was I mean, accidental. If you look at the YouTube channel, it's all tips. Most of it totally. is tips and yeah. tricks, and you're doing makeup and showing people. When did you realize, okay, I need to get out from doing people's makeup and just do this digitally because it's huge? I don't know that we necessarily did. It just kind of evolved, and then it was just the next thing to do. So we love doing makeup. It's always been our passion, and now actually we get to teach everyone else how to do yeah, it as well. Yeah, it kind of just happened organically, because we started that in 2008, and then in 2010 we were approached by um, Real Techniques to create this makeup brush line, yeah. and then that started taking up a lot of our time, and before you knew it, we couldn't actually do freelance so much yeah, anymore, right. so we kind of have to fit in Mums, being mums as well. And then we've well. got mums as well, so yeah, we're super busy. Okay, so you two have got to be the most glamorous looking two moms I've ever seen. <laughs> so they both have two kids each. Uh, Sam, you, how old are your kids? Uh, ten and six. And, and Nick, how old? Two and three. Two and three years old! You know what she's going through right now, right? I what what my husband's going through. Yeah, exactly. He's at home with them. <laughs> Let's, let's look a little bit um, at your brushes because they're very cool. I mean, they look like the, the, it's a beautiful line. And also, let's talk about the brow because this is a big tip that people are looking for yeah. online. Let's come on, uh, come on over here to hit Casey, our lovely model. Now, a bold brow is huge uh, for fall and winter right now. Everyone's trying huge, to do that. Huge, absolutely. Brows in general really frame the face, so it's really yeah. good if you can um, do a little bit of something with your brow. Now, Casey has brows very, very similar to my natural brows, and you can probably see that my brows are really quite full right now because yeah. I really work them to get a fuller brow. Um, so that's what Nick's doing. She's using a pencil to begin with, and then she's going to work some of the Real Techniques brushes into that. So I'm using a pencil so it looks yeah. a little bit more natural to start off with and then I'm going to use a powder over the top. If I go straight in with a powder, the, it almost doesn't have anything to stick to so by mm. using the pencil it's going to add texture and make it much easier for the product to stay in place and last all day because nobody wants to wear their brows and then they wear off halfway through the day. No, that just looks weird, that right? Would be, that would be a mistake. Thank Nick, you. how do you figure out what color you're going to use for her brows? Are you going to go a little bit lighter or a little bit darker? I'm going to go a little bit... Well, Pretty much the same as the hair, but if you've got blonde hair, you don't go with anything that's got too much red in. Because mm. then it looks just too red. You want to go for something that's very ashy and almost like a stone colour. Yeah, okay. So, but I think there's, there's no problem with going quite heavy on the brows. as long It depends on the person and the character of the person as to how they want to wear it. I guess it's also all about building. So start small. I find what goes wrong with me is if I put too much on right to begin with, then I'm Groucho Marx and there's no going back. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I mean, right? layer your product because it's easier to build it than to take it away once you put it on really heavy. Exactly. That's why we've got like a big range of different brushes you can use for different things because all of our brushes are like synthetics. You can use them with creams and powders and oh, liquids. Cool. Yeah. So Nick's using a really fine brow brush, but we have a fuller oh, one lovely. as well. Very nice. Now, you two, I mean, you've grown up together. You both are in the yeah. same industry. Now you're both working together every day. But your sisters, you have to fight. Oh, of course we oh, do. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what kind oh, yeah. of fighters are you? Are you, do you oh. just get passive aggressive and shut down and stop talking to each other for days at a we time? We do that too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sam, listen to that. You don't really talk. And then I know she's in a mood. I'm yeah. just not going to talk to her. We, do, we sort of do this thing know. where we just go, why don't you go home? <laughs> why don't you? Why don't, Rather than idea. saying you're Get in out. a bad mood, just say, right. you go home. You, it's like saying, you need the space. Yeah. Right. You're driving me mad. So, yeah, we do that. We do that. <laughs> but good. sometimes it blows up, you know. 
the but whole it, point is to have a mechanism to end the fight and move totally. on to the next day I because think, yeah. this is a good business you have going. Yeah. I think the lucky thing is we're never in a mood at the same time. So yeah. one of us kind of sorts it out while the other one is moody and then you're like, oh, I, I won't be in the mood today because she is. Yeah. And then we swap it out like that. Yeah, it's like marriage kind of, right? Totally, One at a totally. time, please. Yeah. One at a time. Listen, you guys are awesome. I wish you so much more success. Uh, I don't even know how much farther you can go because you're doing great now.